And so we traveled off to Colchis to eliminate the golden melody. Nothing could have prepared us for that. So we gathered our men from the places we went, and we readied and buckled our cargo. Though our hearts spoke of habits we all may have kept, we set sail and rode on the Argo. First aboard Argo, the namesake of age, who labored and forged for Athena, though his hammer and nail like the bar to a cage. His will faltered at last when he'd seen a disheveled and motley the crew in our wake to bring about peace by subpoena. But there's no more escaping the choices we make. So the sword fell upon Concertina. a trough, his strength like an ox and his good heart divine. What a shame, how I wonder how he wandered off. Castor and Pollux are guides at the sea, the egg-born horse riders on water. They might call themselves magic, but they won't fool me. For the magic cannot stop the slaughter. Boreads talk about it. Goes to match their wings, fantastic flight. Though insufferable, they're still along for the ride to conquer the music and act as our sight. So, God bless the Argo and God bless her crew. Oh, God's pray, forgive all the things that we do as we all come to talk for the bastards we slew. We remember our time on the Argo. Remember our time on the Argo. That was good.